Hello, in this video, I will teach you how to generate the PDF report in the OTDR. And we can enter the fire button. And here is the setting. We can see here is the auto save. We can select SOR and PDF report both. Then the OTDR trace will generate the report automatically in the OTDR. And also save the as SOR files. Both are saved automatically. If you choose SOR only, then only SOR files can be auto saved. If you choose no, then nothing will be saved after you test. Okay, we can select the SOR and the PDF reports both. And here we can change the file name. File name you can change. And the save pass. Normally, the test results are saved. Uh, in the folder named by the test date. For example, and here the report setting. We can edit some information in the PDF report, like report content, like task for job ID, contract, customer name, operator name, supplier name. And here is the link settings. In link, in link setting, we can Edit location and cable ID and fiber ID and the fiber colors. Okay. And here is the file name tab. We can select multi type if you want. It can show you the file name and the uh, test sequence. And here, file name and wavelengths and pathways and test range and sequence. Okay, now we quit and make a test. Okay, OTDR enter and press it up to set the test parameters. And uh, the fiber link is, this is around 30 meters of fusion supplies and 15 meters of fusion supplies. And a connector around 10 meters, a connector around 15 meters, a connector around one kilometers. And now we do the setting. We select 1625, this port. And we select manual mode to test. Uh, test the time, 10 seconds, because the fiber is very short, so I think 10 seconds is enough. And the resolution, standard. And launch cable, no launch cable and no end cable. And test the range, we select five kilometers, and pulse width is five. Now we press AVG to start the test. Okay, we can press F2 button to zoom out the trees to make the trees larger. Okay, for example, and here the first first splice point, we can check the event. This is the first splice point. And this is the first segment around 30 meters, first splice point. And next segment is around 15, 16 meters. And next is a uh, second splice point. And the next segment is around 27. Okay, and the next one is the connector. And next segment is 10 meters. Okay. And next segment is 51 meters. Okay, and the last one is this connectors. Last segment is one kilometers. It's five by end. Also, we can do some operation to the trace, like the region zoom. For example, we want to check this part. We can make it a bit bigger. This is a region zoom functions. And also we can check the events and ODDI map together. To connectors. Start point and
and splice points. Second splice point, connector, connector, connectors. Fiber end. And also, I can generate the report manually. If we do not uh, save the PDF report automatically, we can generate reports manually. Just press generate report and press OK. Okay, the PDF report is saved by manually. And next is the fiber link map function. Start to analyze. Okay, the test is finished. We can check the start point, first splice point, and second splice point, first connector, second connector, and this is a mischarged. Okay, no problem. We can modify by manually. Here is the multi functions, and we can invent the modify. Currently, it is the splice. We can change it to the connector. Press F1 to confirm. Next is the fiber end. around 28 meters, around 16 meters, 26 meters, 10 meters, and 15 meters between the every event. And here is the total loss and the total distance. And the FLM function, the PDF report, is uh, generated automatically after test. Also, you can generate by manually. Press the generate report by manually. Okay, and then next I will show you how to check the saved or saved SOR files and the PDF reports. Press the file button and the test date now is the April 29. And this is the folder. Every test is saved in this folder. And this is SOR file. We can load. This is SOR file. And also we can check the PDF reports. This is the fiber link map PDF report. And this is the uh, OTDR trace PDF report. First, I will check the FLM PDF report. Press load. Make the report larger. Okay, this is the PDF reports of the FLM. And next one is the OTDR trace PDF report. Of course, press the load button. Next page. Okay, this is the OTDR report. Okay, in, so in today's video, I teach you how to generate the PDF reports and the SOR files and how to check in the OTDR inside.